Hey guys, welcome to the studio on a rainy Friday. Uh, well, it's Friday today anyway, I don't know when this will publish. Uh, I just wanted to do this quick video on feather sticks because it was a question that came up during the last fire starting presentation and a couple of the students didn't really know what feather sticks were or what they're used for or how they're made. It's um, kind of an old school thing. Uh, these days there's so many different more modern tinder materials available and chemical tinder materials available that not everyone knows what they are anymore. So I thought I'd do a, just a quick video on them and how they're made and what they're for. So stick around for a minute. We're going to talk about feather sticks. Feather sticks are a transitionary type tinder material. Uh, they don't work well on rainy days, but they're often necessary after a rain in a, in a forest. I mean, whether it's a deciduous forest or a conifer forest, and sometimes more necessary in conifer forests where you don't have so many leaves and, and dry detritus that works well for tinder material. You whittle into a limb and create what it, what it does is, is create thinner uh, spaces and thinner material and more air between the spaces. And it gives you a, um, a material that takes flame and then spreads the flame more rapidly. So it creates a lot of heat very quickly to help uh, dry and ignite your tinder above. So, and, and the way you, you, know, you make them is pretty simple. It's, Turning it into a, something that catches and catches the spark or catches the flames easier. And spreads them. These aren't the prettiest feathers I've ever made. And doesn't really matter. They're not made for an aesthetic. You know, they're made for a purpose. But what they do is they allow one match to spread the flames. And you can see how it's burning nice and bright and orange. And what that does is produce a lot of heat very quickly. And here in our temperate rainforest, that can come in very handy in, in getting the wet tinder to, to ignite. And you'll see more on that a little later when I do the, uh, the heat factoring video of uh, wet weather fire starting. You get to see how, that, how this is one of the layers in the system, in the fire lay, that part of the chain reaction of the heat that's developed to dry the material as the heat rises. But this, I, I just wanted to make a quick video here on this because, like I said, there were a few young people there at the presentation that, and they weren't really sure what for the six were. They've heard about them, but you know, they've seen some of their friends make it, but they really weren't sure what you know, the idea behind it was, or the reason behind it, or, and how you make them. So that's that, that's um, just a quick video on how you can take a small tool and create your own tinder material in places like deciduous, uh, or deciduous, um, temperate forest, uh, conifer forest, where there's, where you're away from the fields, where there's not a lot of you know, um, dried goldenrod and that sort of thing to use for tinder material in, in, a, in a deep forest where not a lot of light reaches the canopy. There's not a lot of things that grow in them other than the trees and you have to take what you can and make what you need. So I hope that helps. Um, some people understand, you know, the technique behind making feather sticks and, and what they're for. I will. So thanks for stopping in. Um, hopefully that 
gives you a little insight into, into feather sticking and what the feather sticks are for and how you make them. We'll, uh, we'll get a little more into it, a little more into the fire lay and, and how the feather sticks work as in the entire chain reaction. But thank you for stopping in and checking this one out. And this will give you a chance, something to practice with for the next little while if uh, you want to practice making your own feather sticks. And, and uh, just be careful. Keep your hand above the edge, not below. Yeah. And we'll see you next time. <laughs>